The letters appear on the screen with a wireframe around them. On this wireframe, there are handles that allow you to modify the letters in different ways. By pointing in the center of the wireframe, a four-way arrow appears allowing you to reposition the lettering. Simply click and drag the lettering to the desired spot. The handles on the top left and bottom right allow you to resize the lettering. The handles on the top and bottom allow you to stretch the letter's height, while the handles on the sides allow you to stretch the width of the letters. The round handles on the bottom left and top right allow you to rotate the lettering. The diamond handle on the bottom allows you to create a stair step effect with the letters. And the diamond handle on the bottom left lets you slant the letters in either direction. If you get the frame too far out of shape, don't worry. Simply click the reset button to reset the frame to the original shape. There are other frames for lettering besides a straight rectangular box. Click on the frames icon. There are different letter dispositions to choose from. The actual number of different letter frames you have depends on the level of software you've purchased. Each letter frame has different controls or handles to manipulate the frame. These handles control things like letter height and things specific to that frame. All the frames shown in blue work in the same manner as the standard rectangle frame, but may also have additional controls specific to that frame. Another frame type is the single line. It has similar controls as the rectangle frame, but also gives you the ability to easily move the baseline of the lettering to a different angle by moving the nodes on the bottom line. You can simply move the node to another place or use control handles to reshape the line. The other single line frame dispositions are green in color. The global frame makes the letters look as if they are stretched around a ball. To increase this effect, click on the dot in the center and drag it out in one direction. To change the effect, simply move this line in different directions. The lettering package also comes with frames for creating arc letters. The controls for the arc frames are slightly different. To change the height of the letters, move the handle on the top of the outer circle. To change the size of the arch, or the circle the letters are sitting on, move the handle on the top of the inner circle. You can make the circle egg-shaped in the vertical direction by adjusting the handle on the bottom of the inner circle and stretch it horizontally by moving the handle on the side of the circle. You can also rotate the frame by the handle on either the 2 o'clock or 8 o'clock positions. There are other frames that operate in this same way and are shown in red. When the lettering is how you want it to look, right click and click on Stitch It.